Hello, and welcome to Cardboard Decoy Plays One Way Heroics. I did an intro video on here, so I feel pretty good about just jumping right in. Let's go... Choose name, C Decoy, always C Decoy. Swordmaster, we're going to stick with Knight for survivability's sake. Let's see. Are they all girls? Ah, there we go. That's how you change that. Nothing against playing girls. I'll probably do that from time to time, but, you know, I prefer balance. Uh, strength, vitality, strength, agility. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's just start the adventure. We're going to create a new random world. What are our challenges? I did look up a little bit. Some people playing, that kind of a deal. And, uh, yeah, I found uh, some interesting information out. These are definitely daily challenges. So we've got... Uh, players want to join the adventure with other heroes? Yeah, maybe one day. And... Queen Frida is being held captive 50 kilometers from the start point. The guards are tough, so make sure to equip your finest weapons. No level ups in Dimension. Okay, no level ups. Two armor dealers have been appearing as a start yeah, starting castle. Use your savings for some early shopping. As a special presence, the enemies are a bit stronger than normal. Right. There, sorry, I took out my headphone because the game really is loud. Like, I have to adjust it quite a bit in post in order to keep it from just completely overpowering the rest of the sound. A little unfortunate, maybe. Okay, let's go ahead and just create a new random world. Walk in the park. Uh, let's see. Let me give you some tips. Even if you have a party member, any attacks from the front will still damage only you. Attacks from the side will sometimes damage your party member instead. Any attacks from the rear will always damage your party member. Hmm. If you're in trouble, use your party members as shields. Uh... <laughs> If you really are the only person who can save the world, then it is crucial that you survive no matter what. This is the duty of one who aspires to save all existence. It is a heavy burden. Yeah. Hey, man, you mind dying? Because uh, I don't want to. It'd be really inconvenient. Oh, we're starting to snow. All right. Let's go ahead, and that's all I have to say about that. Uh, okay. 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 Whoops. Uh, all right. So we have Great Wall. Reduces ST by one each turn. In exchange, any for reducing physical damage to one third and automatically healing wounds. Damage from behind is also reduced. Any movement cancels usable once per day. Okay, so we get in trouble. Oh, hello, Iris. And uh, anything I can help with? What is the clock in the upper right of the screen? Oh, I used the wrong buttons. This control scheme, I swear, it's it's not the best in my opinion. That's what's in our. Ah, this is confirm. The other button is deny. So, I watched through my video before and noticed a few things that I didn't notice before. So, if you look in the brackets next to heavy terra armor, it has 50. That is your durability, and it will go down as you go. If you look down in the lower right-hand corner, I would point with my mouse if I could use one. Uh, you see longsword 200, knight's coat 190, leather shield 60. So, that is actually how long those things have to go before they uh, are destroyed. So, let's see, 30% fire nullification, taller than most people, hmm, and what do we have? This is attack 10 versus attack 13. This is a holy weapon. Now, holy weapons have kind of a, uh, yeah, they, they have sort of an interesting use in this game. I'll, I'll get more into that some other time, but let's go for Brand Blade. All right, we'll start out just fairly easy here. Uh, oh. A question? What would I ask you questions? You're the one who's supposed to be answering the questions and not giving them. Hmm, well, I guess the one in the least, but it feels strange. Yeah, well, okay. Or I'll think on it at least. Sorry, it's been kind of a crazy day. I bought a new phone, did a bunch of other stuff, got some stuff together, um, and almost didn't record these in time. I'm actually kind of cutting it kind of close. Uh, energy 10% can be sold for a high price. Okay. So that's worth a lot of money, but it'll also recover energy and health. And let's see what we have here in this little building. Ah! Hey, it's an actual... Uh, let's see, what do we have? We have wooden arrow, axe, battle axe. So, quality unknown, attack 18 for a battle axe, but it still has question marks. So, we're not really sure what's good. And... Accuracy lowered by 15%, but it has a high damage. Very good at destroying walls. Whoa, I bought it, so... Sure. 
Yeah, we're gonna cancel. We don't really want anything just yet. Welcome, I hope you aren't a crook like the last one. Make yourself at home. Welcome, what can I get for you? Healthy meal. This is energy 90, life 100, energy 50. Uh, well, we're not really that low, so we're just gonna get bread crusts. Alright. And we got... Yeah, damn, that's some tasty bread crust. Wow. Alright. So apparently, bread crusts are kind of random. Usually nothing happens, but that seemed to have, like, an additional effect. So, let's talk to this person one more time. And do we want anything, really? No. Okay. Oh, we do need to harvest our herb. Use. And what is taking up so much space? Is it just the Grand Blade? Wait, eight. Yeah, it's the Grand Blade. Okay. Dropped item. And... There we go. Okay. Let's move right along. We're not meeting any combat yet, which is maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing. I wouldn't mind getting a little bit of levels, uh, get a little bit of leveling up done while we're walking around here fairly aimlessly. Healing herb. There's another town. Let's see if their shop actually has anything. Oh, that's a save attendant. Eh, uh, yeah. And we're gonna save over that. Okay. So we're on day one. It's middle of night. Twenty kilometers. Halfway to the Queen, if we were trying to rescue the Queen. Man, there is nothing happening here. Aha! Villainous Feral Dog. Uh, woo, ee, there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And, yeah. So, nothing too amazing. Sorry. Oh, it's a bear. Should I be running? I should be running. Goodbye, bear. Go away, bear. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know how to get away from these things. This is truly unfortunate. Um, what do I do? How do I solve this? This will... It's not... Okay, we're going to go ahead and use our Great Wall ability. Okay. So tired. Need food. I know, I know. It's cool. We're just trying to escape here. There we go. That's how you escape. Use the terrain to our advantage. All right. <clears throat> Max life increased by 10. I did find out that... Uh, let's see. Life by 30? Yeah. Okay, cool. That works out real well. I did find out that if you use the Goddess Shrine to... Uh, basically trade for your... Sorry, I'm super distracted. This game is still so new to me that it just distracts the crap out of me. Uh, you can trade in your levels for stat boosts, and you'll still keep your boosts from your levels. So, yeah, that totally works. Uh, it just costs exponentially more as you go along. Uh, oh, hey. That's cool. They'll appraise the eye. Okay, so those are people we need to watch out for, certainly. Uh, goodbye, traveler. What do we got here? Please, take this. Well, you gave me something. Okay. Oh, he's going to make me beat it up anyways. And it took three hits. Good God. Uh, yeah, I only got 15 kilometers to the next town. In my day, I had to walk 100. Uh, so, yeah, about 100 kilometers. There should be another uh, place to stop by. Well, this would be really cool if... Let's see, we only have 264 sellers, so a, ren a renowned merchant, healing herbs, stamina herbs, scroll of jury rigging, uh, scroll of confusion. Okay, so 10 stamina, 10 energy. What's our stamina look like? Our stamina is pretty okay. Uh, yeah. We're going to get some, oh, there we go. That's going to give us a ton of energy back. Take out lunches more. Take some for your journey. What do we got for weapons? Wooden arrow, iron arrow, sword. Okay, so that's kind of cool. We're just still... It's its a little... There's an element of exploration here because I'm not really sure what I'm getting into, what I should be getting into, and that kind of a deal. So apparently these games are supposed to go on fairly long. Uh, the end of the world is at 2,000 kilometers. At 2,000 kilometers, you basically loop around the map and a special event happens, but I won't spoil that just yet. And we're gonna attack the bunny? We're, we're gonna not attack the bunny. Come on. There we go. Let us level up. Jesus. 
Wow, what the hell did I just kill? Tough Snow Hair. Okay. Experience increased by 300%. According to the log I'm reading at the bottom there, that's freaking crazy. Time to get our stab on. Okay. Not if I can help it, hopefully. Alright, hopefully their night survivability here is going to come in handy. He's dead. Uh, we really need to kill this one fairly quickly before the darkness gets us. Alright, we got a leather shield. We're going to pick that up. And silver, definitely going to pick that up. And there we go. Okay, so moving right along then. Sword, pick up. Okay. Well, we got too much weight, so let's see. Does any of this tell us... Oh, hey. A shield made by wrapping layers of leather is light and easy to defend with. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and equip that. I'm sure it'll let me do that. Oh, I already had a shield on. Okay, so we don't know the durability of that one, so we're just going to go ahead and stick with our 40 durability sh shield, and then, uh, yeah, we'll throw it, because that's fun. It's more fun than just dropping something on the ground, you know? Okay. Although I wish I kind of threw it Captain America style at this guy, but, you know, only so much you can do. Okay, moving on. Snow crystal grass. We're going to eat it. Yeah. So I'll just eat things right off the ground like a true adventurer. We're going to pick you up. Um, weight limit exceeded again. Damn it. The weight limit thing is a real pain in the ass. And apparently you can unlock a... Uh, pack horse to increase your weight limit as an ability, but I have yet to figure out how to do that. I don't know if there's special conditions that need to be met before you're allowed to unlock it, or what's going on there, but I don't recall seeing it before. So, come here, feral dog. Yeah, it's a good boy. You keep giving me experience. How about that? We're going to attack this tree, because apparently that's a thing. And we're going to eat. And... Uh, healing herb, stamina herb, we don't really need either of those, so we might as well leave them. We got bats in here. Aha, it's a dungeon. Totally legit. Uh, do I have anything I can throw at these guys? I want to throw something. Let's throw a sword. Bam! Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Okay. And there's a bat. Man, I've got my headphones on the ground, and I can still hear what's going on here. This game is so loud, even on the absolute lowest settings that it would let me. So, there's got to be a way to open up chests better than that. I just haven't figured it out yet. Aside from being a thief, I was thinking about starting a game as a thief in order to uh, maybe get some decent treasure going on here, and then uh, see how that affects my gameplay by making better quality items available. So, but we'll see how that ends up. And let's go here. There's a zombie. I assume that's a zombie. That's more silver. What do we got here? We got bats. We got a bat problem. It's bat country. Yep. Okay. Uh, We're gonna use our great wall ability. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. I, I'm apparently healing really fast, but I'm also taking damage pretty quickly as well. Oh my god, this is brutal. Alright, we killed him. Okay. Got two levels for it. And a lot of silver. That's a lot, a lot of silver. Okay, we're going to use that. And then we're going to... Let's see. Life by 30. Life by 30. 30 more. And we're good. Okay. Okay. That felt like a decent recovery. We're going to very quickly try to get around these mountains. Another thing I didn't notice, but uh, it does very clearly state it's going to take 10 turns in order to get past a mountain. So traversing one block of mountains uh, is rather draining. Okay, so we've got a night coat. Leather shield is at 12 now. Item appraiser. Let's do that. All of your items have been identified. Okay, so what have I got? A grand blade. Oh, that's just a grand blade. Okay. We're going to pick you up and not appraise you just yet. Okay. That's a save attendant. What am I at? I'm at 96 kilometers, so yeah, he was right. I love armor. Scaled shield. Let's see. So we've got a leather shield. That's a light shield. Leather armor. Bracelet? Bracelet. 
do have a lot. So, you know what? I haven't really gotten any uh, of these sorts of things. So, it's balanced defense uh, ability and armor. And we're going to go ahead and buy that. And, yeah. So, we're going to sell a leather shield. How does that compare to what I just wanted to buy? Sell. And... Yeah, 10 plus 30 percent, 70 percent. 10 plus 4. Okay, yeah, so this is better. Uh, Elzai Bomb. I don't have any more of those herbs uh, that could possibly be really handy for selling. The the ones I was picking up in the snow field that said they were worth a lot if you sell them. So, anything else I want to sell? Can I sell just one? Medicine restores life by 100. I'm probably... I might regret this. No? Okay, cool. I am under the weight correctly. We're going to complete transaction. I am a renowned merchant. What do you have for me? Area map. Uh, okay. We're going to complete transaction. And use... First of all, we're going to equip. And bracelet. Can I equip it? Might as well. Bracelet's got a question mark. Oh, bracelet is a type of shield. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna identify that and see what kind of benefit it might have for a different class. Um, area map, we're gonna use that. And what can I get for you? We're gonna get bread crusts. Here you go. Don't doubt my special bread crusts. They heal and recover twice the normal amount. Now, I guess maybe that's a... The, the seemingly very Japanese-y trope of uh, always saying that yours is the super best. Okay, we're gonna use the area map anyways. Okay. So we'll see how that works. We got something right around the corner there. 100 kilometers. Hey, hero. Okay, yeah, he's on the way. I gotcha. And, oh, hello, bat. Goodbye, bat. That's more silver for me. And I don't know if forests have any qualities as far as, like, effects whenever you walk through them. We're going to eat that. Yep. And our herb is fully grown. That's good for it. We're going to eat that. And... Yeah. Not, not happening. We're just going to move on. There wasn't any really good entrance for that place anyway, so I don't think we're missing out on too much. Until I figure out how to open up chests, it's going to be pretty hard going in the, uh, whether or not I want to go through the dungeons. Um, let's see. Sorry if I'm not making a lot of sense. I realize I'm not being very articulate, but, uh, that kind of happens whenever you've got a game that requires more thought processes than, uh, you're used to just yet. I'm gonna bust through this wall. It'd take fewer moves than it would if I went up there to the door. Let's see, what have you got for me? You've got an axe. Okay. You got more axe. Don't know the quality on any of these. Just try and hurt one of the villagers. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're good friends. I got it. We're gonna save game. Okay. And we're gonna get more bread crusts. Yeah, more bread crusts. Anyways. Oh, okay, so the ones earlier did 20% when it's only supposed to do 10, and so he wasn't just bragging or boasting, it was for real. So, 7 kilometers to the next town. Okay, well, thanks, old man. You're super handy. Uh, let's... Oh, jeez. Seems like they changed something. Like, that used to be squares, right? I'm not crazy, am I? Aha! That's... Squares is shift. That's for move. Okay, I see. So if you need to move diagonally, control will help you move around diagonally, whereas shift helps you face. Uh, okay. Well, seven kilometers is reached, I guess? And... Let me see... Let me see what I have in my items. Do I really need it? So, that's not identified. That sword is not identified. But I'm probably fine. Let's just keep moving. I really need more carrying, or, uh, weight allowances. And he loves armor. So we're gonna move on from that. Weapon dealer, that's staff. I'm sure staff would be pretty interesting. That's attack four. Sword with a very thin blade. 
Not very durable and is designed to target vital spots. Critical hit chance plus 20. Oh, that could be interesting if we were maybe a swords person. Let's see, chef, more bread crusts. Okay. You can only get one bread crust per town, in case that wasn't clear, but... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he just annihilated the crap out of that bird. A scroll which applies the Im immobility effect to the currently equipped weapon. The immobility effect has a chance to constrain the enemy's movement. Oh, I see. So it'll keep it from running. I have a chance to stun it. That would be really handy, actually. Maybe I should go back and pick that up. Well, I don't really have... Yeah, I'm at my weight limit. So, we're just gonna eat you. Just gonna eat ya! Don't worry. Not things you ever want to hear anybody say. Except for maybe you, depending on how weird you are. Uh, let's see. Well, we are getting pretty close to the 20 minute mark, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here in a moment. I will be back- Whoa. Hold on. Generating world. We can't do anything. Stop. Okay. So, yeah. We're, we're just gonna, I'm gonna keep wandering here a little bit while I uh, do the outro, but yeah, I think I'm gonna like this series. Definitely gonna take a little bit of time to get used to and try to understand some things. I did uh, do a little bit of research, so I have at least a very rough idea of what's going on in this game, and I know a little bit more. My expectations are a little bit clearer, so hopefully these episodes will be more than just me going, well, well, I died, oh, well, I died, and we're gonna read the... Uh, the death text there because that's always super enjoyable for everyone involved and uh spoiler alert it's not but you get the idea um regardless i hope you are interested in this series and if you're watching this for the first time i still don't have really much of a fan base so uh thank you in general for watching uh please support me by clicking the like button the like button and i can start producing Maybe, maybe not better content, but more content, and I, I'll be a little more free to try to do some things with my free time, of which is extremely limited, in order to try to improve the channel and, uh, you know, just get it done. Get it done the right way. Oh, uh, you know what? It looks like I'm not going to be able to get past this mountain range. Well, let's see what happens. This is going to be real bad. Yeah, I'm going to get swallowed up by the darkness. Well, this is a good time to end the episode, if there was one. So, there we go. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I... Well, oh, wait, actually, there's something cool here. So, not exactly a spoiler if you get killed by the darkness, but... The midnight black curtain pressing against your back finally gets the best of you and swallows you whole. Almost immediately, you are crushed by intense pressure and sent flying into the air. From above, you can see the darkness assailing the land. From the new vantage point, you are able to spot something amongst the endless dark fog. A dragon, larger than any mountain in the land, is coiled up within the deadly fog. Oh, so that is what has been consuming our world. As you come to this realization, something solid slams into your body and ends your musings forever. So, basically, the darkness is an actual dragon tornado of uh, complete destruction. So, next time, I'll try to have a little bit more foresight whenever it comes to seeing if mountains are on the way. But I think that's gonna... I'm just gonna start in a new place next time. And, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and have fun.